Has your Windows 11 machine running a little slow lately or maybe you're trying to give it away to a family member or a friend or a complete stranger even or perhaps you got a secondhand device and you want to reset it to its factory settings. All of those and more are great reasons to reset your Windows 11 device. And in this easy guide, I'm going to show you step by step how you can quickly restore your device back to factory settings as long as you have Windows 11 on it. You don't need any advanced knowledge and it takes no more than a couple of minutes. Now, I am going to cover two different methods of doing this because your circumstances may vary. For most people, the first method should be sufficient, but the second one mentions how you can reset your Windows 11 device if you can't actually boot into the operating system itself. So let's get started. Method number one assumes that you're able to log in and boot into Windows 11 normally. Now, in this case, you want to start off at the desktop like we have here. You're going to go down to the taskbar and you're going to go to the start button, the one that looks like the Windows icon and right click on it. Once you right click on this, you'll see a menu pop up. You're going to look for a option called settings and then you're gonna click on settings. That will open up a new window. Now over here on the left pane, you'll see a bunch of options. You can ignore all of those and look specifically for the one that says system. It's usually the second one from the top. Once you go to system, you'll see on the right side, a bunch of new options pop up. Don't worry again, ignore most of these. Scroll down until you see a option called recovery. And you're gonna go on the recovery option, click on that, and then you'll get a couple of extra sub options over here. Now from these sub options, you're gonna specifically select the one that says reset this PC. You'll see that there's a reset PC button on the corner there. You're gonna click on that, a prompt opens up. The first thing it's going to ask you is, do you want to remove everything or do you want to keep your files? I strongly recommend you remove everything as that truly incorporates a clean reinstall. Though make sure you back up any personal files like documents, pictures, videos, etc, etc. Because once the reset process is done, all of that will be gone. So once you select remove everything, after that, the next option is going to ask you if you want to do a cloud reinstall or a local reinstall. Now, if your Windows is severely corrupted, something seems seriously wrong, a cloud reinstall is a little better because it installs a fresh copy right from Microsoft server. So this has to be downloaded and takes a little bit longer and requires an active internet connection. But if your Windows 11 machine for the most part seems okay, go ahead with a local reinstall instead, which tends to be significantly faster often. Now, once you go to the next menu, it's going to quickly tell you all the things that will happen when you reset your computer. Go ahead and proceed to the next prompt. And over here, you'll notice that there is a reset button. This is the final step you have to do before the reset happens. Click on that. And then a new Windows prompt comes up. Over here, you'll see a percentage that it's preparing for the reset process. Once that preparation is completely done, it's going to immediately restart your computer. Once your computer restarts a couple of times, you'll see a new progress bar in the form of a percentage. It shows you how far along the reset process has come along. This can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to a couple of hours, depending on the settings you chose and depending on how complex the reset process is for your device. Now, once that's all done, immediately after you will be kind of loaded into the Windows 11 installation screen and you'll notice that the setup manager pops up and from here on, just like you would with a new computer, go and follow the prompts, set up your Windows 11 device like you would for the first time. And just like that, you've done a clean install. No other steps required. Good job. Method two is for anyone who is unable to log or boot into Windows. In those cases, usually your computer will redirect you to Windows 11 UEFI or the advanced repair option. It's basically a blue screen like the one you're seeing right now. From here, you're going to go over to the option that says troubleshoot. So go ahead and click on that. After that, you're basically going to be asked if you want to reset this PC and you're going to go ahead and select the option that says reset this PC. Once that's done, you're going to choose between removing all files or keeping files. Again, I strongly recommend doing the remove all file option to make sure you get a true clean install. But if you don't have a chance to back up your data before this incident might have occurred, then you can select the keep all files option. So you at least have a chance to salvage your files potentially. After that, you're going to be asked if you want to do a local reinstall or a cloud reinstall. Again, if you've been having multiple issues and you've already tried resetting computer in the past with a local reinstall, try a cloud reinstall. It takes a newer and more updated version of Windows to make sure that you have a uncorrupted file. But for anyone else, this is a one 
one-off issue, then just go with your local reinstall. It's a little bit faster. After that, you'll be asked if this is a workplace laptop. Unless this is a corporate laptop or for an employer, you can safely select no in this case and it removes any workplace provisions which have no consequences to you. Past that, you're gonna be asked if you wanna just remove your files or fully clean the drive. If you are keeping this laptop for yourself or giving it to someone you fully trust, then go ahead and just select just remove my files. But if you're giving to a complete stranger, selling it off or perhaps recycling it, in those cases, it's better to fully clean your drive. It takes a lot longer, but it makes sure that the data is fully and completely wiped off your hard drive without any chance of doubt. Now, past that, you'll be brought to the reset screen. Over here, you'll notice it tells you everything that's gonna happen. Once you're ready to go, hit that reset button. After that, your computer will usually restart several times, and then you'll see the progress screen again, which shows you in the form of a percentage how far the reset process has come along. Once that's completed, you'll be brought over to the Windows 11 Setup Manager, just like you would on a new device, and follow all the prompts, set up your device like normal, and just like that, you've completely got a completely clean, wow, that's crazy. Just like that, basically, you've got a clean install of Windows 11. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. It genuinely helps us grow and it means the world to us. Thank you so much for watching. For more tutorials, you can check out my channel and there's plenty of helpful videos just like this one. Catch you in the next one.